G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday Hour of Install. Now today we are doing something really, really cool. So we are doing three products today. We're gonna to do the dual ARB air compressor into a cradle you've already seen, but this one's specific for the Raptor. Next gen Raptor, we're also doing the air tank mount, which goes under tub as well. Bloody in that way, that way, drops in there, had <laughs> a bit of a look. And we're also doing a bracket for the dual air filters. So they go in and and these are gonna relocate the air filters from that up there in the tail light. So it's a three product kind of day. We can do it all in one, so we're gonna sell these as a kit. We are gonna sell them individually and you'll just have to skip through the video. So my noisy neighbor, the pensioners decide to mow the lawn while we're doing this. Good old pensioner, we'll roast him below. Right, hey, so as always to get started, we're gonna go through a few bits and pieces we need. What we're reusing out of here and here on the, uh, on the ARB compressor there and there, we pull this bit off and this bit bolts into here. So we'll go and install that one first and yeah, and we'll get into it. And these bolts here are gonna be used for bolting up through here into the bottom of the tub. Now, I don't actually know what tools we need yet today, so we'll do a quick run through as we go because we've gotta disassemble this air compressor, roll these blue things around, reassemble it all and mount it into the bracket before we can install it. So we'll start there, range of tools, and let's not forget. Cannot start any install without a Frothy Legends. You, thank you. Mm. Today we're on my, my new favourite. I still haven't got a cart in mind, you. <laughs> the Ballistic Beer Co. Hawaiian Pale Ale. Oh, sorry. Loha Pale Ale, I'll stand corrected. Bloody good drop, this one. So we'll get on this one today. We've got a few more snuck in the fridge for later. Might be out of a while. We'll see how we go. right Well, let's get into it. As you can see here, actually, we're going to talk about this. Look at that. Look at our beautiful bread roll. Look what happened to it. Like, I got pieces of stuff everywhere. You probably, by the time you see this video, you would have already seen the Sunday video, which we'll link to the end of this, where we are, uh, we went to Glassy. And um, yeah, she come back on a tow truck. Righto, so the focus of this is, we don't need that neither, is this compressor actually has got to mount upside down like that. So this is your air, where you put your bloody your air fitting, normally to plug your hose in. So that's going to drop down and then go through this hole at the bottom, right? Nice and nice and simple. So we've got to make that work today. So first thing we're going to do is put it upside down. Too lazy for that. We're going full cat power tool special today. I'm not going to stuff around with spanners and stuff. We're going to go through here. Old Tata Tools Richlands and cat power tools really come to the party here, right? Eh? We're on fire, we're on fire. Right, eh, let's have this make a decision. Look at the state of these things. Still working, I've been absolutely flogged already. Only a few weeks old. Um, oh, I need another adapter. Oh God, not that one, that one. Get that boy, that boy out. Right, eh? So, we're gonna start by undoing this black plate here. We need to get these four bolts out. But we want to retain four of these bolts as well. So don't forget that part. Yeah, buddy. Spin that one around. Get in there. Get in there. Strip it. We'll strip it. Nothing wrong with stripping a couple. You got eight, you only need four. <laughs> Beautiful. So we get that bit. I don't need that. Oh, I forgot about my headlights actually. <laughs> right, I'll be, be, be a bit more mindful of that. The next thing we need to do is if we loosen these off, when we rotate, they're going to hit this plate. So we need to get this bad boy out of here, which you won't have that in there. We have that in there because we're playing with something else. That over there. Alrighty, so you're going to have to undo these plugs. Doink. Doink. It started ripping ahead about telling anyone then. So we want to uh, undo these plugs. <laughs> right, now where were we old before we had a commercial break with the phone? Yeah, it's pulling this apart. It's pulling this apart. Right, uh, let's get back to pulling that apart. Since, um, since something went flat. No, <laughs> and it wasn't a cat power tool. It was the camera. No, it wasn't. What was it? The mic. Right, hey, we're on. We're ready to go again. So we were pulling this apart. 
10 mil. These four bolts. Oh, that's a tiny little bulb, isn't it? Cute little one. Oh, look at that bit of wobbly goodness. Let me just get a, oh, look at that. Look at that, bit of goodness there. Oh, okay, everyone say it with me. Yellow right, purple left. Okay, yellow towards filters, purple towards the back. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna get that wrong so we can rewind the video. <laughs> Got it on camera, all right. So that bit's out of our way. Now the next step we wanna do, is we wanna go back to getting this bad boy in there, yep. So I wanna put our Allen key back on, which this Allen key was to undo them. I didn't even say that to you guys. It was a four mil, four mil Allen key. We need that again. And we're going to loosen this off and loosen this off. I'm gonna loosen this. And we're gonna loosen this. And we're gonna, we're gonna just, see these just roll around like that now. Woo, that goodness. Good idea, Al, cameraman has ideas sometimes, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Tell us your plan. Oh, sorry. I was going to start again. Now go on. Yeah, so what we're going to do here, guys, is we're actually going to turn these bolts around, these bad boys here. I'm going to spin them so at the moment they're pointing that way. So when, you, when you've got it down there, you can't actually adjust them. So if we turn them this way, spin that around. If we turn them this way around, when it's upside down, you'll be able to get to that with an Allen key and just clamp that up so it can't move and then you can... Go ahead and bolt your thing up. I did got a little bit, a little bit dead just then now. Forgot about that bit. Just went quiet. Right, I so. <laughs> I did say to everybody, make sure your outlet's going out the hole. Turns out the way I tried to set it up the first time, I said that, checked it, and well, <laughs> I didn't check it again. Similar thing about beers. One beer, a couple of sips. Mm. I'll get it all wrong. So, it's actually gonna go this way. It's actually gonna go that way. For the way I'm doing this. Anyway, setting it up. Oh no, well you know what? No, I did do it right the first time. You know what's changed? I've been moving the bracket around, spinning it around, flipping it around. I didn't check it. Ah, oh, I just pulled it apart again for nothing, but we found a new way of adjusting it, which is pretty damn cool. Put them there. All right. So, it was by turning those bolts around so you can get to them. So that was pretty cool. That was a good little find. But um, I bloody, um, well, as you can see. You want to push this as far back that way as you can go against here without sort of crimping the wires too much. So we want to go like that. Get him a fair way back. So we've got enough distance here. You want to have a good 10 mil there because of the bloody... Um, that, this bracket here that's coming back in on it. Then you want to bloody throw one of these in just to lock it in place so it's all lined up. You want to line that in. You want to eyeball through the hole here and bloody line it up and just get him started. That's what we'll do with this. Turns out I did not eyeball that very well then. Exhibit A. God, look at the struggle. The struggle is real here. Oh, he's dropped it. Doesn't matter. He's dropped the ball. He's fumbled it. He's recovered. So that's one it's set up. The next one, we're not going to put all four in because I'm lazy. We've established this now. Same thing on this side. Pick him up, line him up, drop him in. So now you've got your bloody, you got all this lined up in the right place. And then we're just gonna go like this. These two black bolts down here we loosened off earlier. Oh, before I do that, let's just make sure he's got plenty of room there. Just push that one back over so it's a bit squared up like this one. Plenty of room. 
and then we'll just tighten that up so that way none of this moves and we'll uh, get this done, get this done, cool. Now we can loosen these back off and pull the compressor out and assemble the bloody bracket back on there that we took off. I was putting clown music in for you, in case you're looking for some. I know I'm a clown as it is, but... Yeah, right, mate, I'll look after you. You can, like, I'll license that sound to you if you like. Yeah. <laughs> Your video. So you can use it for other videos. Uh, so purple at the back and yellow at the front. If I'm wrong, I'm getting roasted in the comments. Anyways, let me line this back up again with here. You know, again, I didn't pay attention. We all discovered this. He's a bit of an idiot, this guy. Perfect, perfect. Compressor is now back together. Back together, man. Uh, it's looking a little bit better. It's not twisting into its position real well. Yeah, look at pork roll. It'd be nice, uh, sexy rig, eh? Righto, so the very, very simple part here. This is the right hand side one. Now, if you look over here, if you had a Raptor, you're obviously not going to have this step cut out. So we now don't have a Raptor to install it on. So we've just got this tub. So what we're going to do and show you on the tub is, we'll pretend this isn't there, but on a Raptor, you're going to have an exhaust that comes through here as well. Like it comes sort of there. So you're going to feed it up over the exhaust. And the, where does the exhaust go? Yeah, it comes out there, but it like, it runs straight through here under the thing. So you just got to sort of get up and over it, but it's not that hard. It goes in pretty easy. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take four of these M10s that we've provided. So you have to look at the box then because I couldn't remember. Four M10s we've provided. We're going to take our air compressor mount. We're going to sit these on that. You're not going to have a, see, you're not going to have a bloody, a, a nice handy pallet to put your bolts on, are you? I've got a handy pallet to store my bolts on. don't know what you're going to have. You're going to have, yeah, I don't know, put on the bumper or something. But on the, on the, you won't even need to pull the bumper out for this on the Raptor, the Raptor is so sick. Like To put this into that, it was like an hour's job, it's ridiculous. But to put it into the Raptor, it's like, well, that sounds good. Ah, uh, take that back. <laughs> it's a Y62 and I just said it sounds good. Ah, oh, no, what have I done? <laughs> I've got that on tape for Mick now. Oh, there goes all my roasting capabilities. All right, so bear with me. I think it's gonna go that way. Yeah, it is. So if you have a look here, you see we've got this cutout, got a cutout there, and we're gonna bolt here. So we're gonna bolt into these two bolts here and these two in here. But see, we've got a cutout to go around that bolt there. So you just wanna, I'll put them there so I can grab them. You just wanna go up. I'm gonna sit on top of the bloody, on top of the step. I'm gonna hold that up, start that one, and come over here. Now you're probably going to be able to, you're going to have a bit of a struggle because your, your exhaust is going to be a bit painful. But at least you can sit it on your exhaust from memory. That's the cool part about it. So it makes it really, really cool. Now, I think I'm just going to leave that one out because it's in a tricky spot. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave this, they're going to leave this one over here out because it's in a tricky spot for me to get to because I have a step. Oh no, bugger. We'll get it. It's not going to be out of bolt. Do it up. It'll get one of the apprentices to undo it on Monday. There we go. So, obviously with the Raptor, that's not going to be in your way. So very easy. I need to get myself a socket. I reckon I'm going to need an extension for this. So it's 15 mil. Don't know why I've got the other bolt still. And we're just going to go. Boink. Boink. You know, so you're not going to have that problem because this isn't going to be in your way. I can't do that one up because, well, obviously, what, 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 what? and that plug still comes there. You can actually route your wiring out here through there. It tucks up there nice and easy, guys. 
So that's that, that one done. That's your air compressor. The next step is doing our, um, our air tank in here. But for that one, we have to quickly rip off this, which shouldn't be too much of a drama. It should be a couple minutes. So sit five and I'll pull this off because it's going to be irrelevant to the Raptor. And um, we'll be back into all the action. Go and grab yourselves a frothy and we'll be back in five. Right, Legends, we're back after one extremely long beer break. We had to go get a new beer, which resulted in about six days passing. But it's been, it's been a week now, Friday I've installed. So we're trying another product up this week now, not this one, because the bracket that was given to me, this one here, they gave me the wrong prototype bracket and it didn't fit. So I had to wait to get one. Ooh. So anyways, we'll get back into it. We'll have a sip of the beer. And cheers, Legends. Oh. Oh, might be another six days for a beer. What is that? Oh, so strange. It's definitely strange. It says gluten free on it. I feel sorry for you guys that are gluten. Oh, whoo, whoo. I don't want to rag this company, so I'm just going to have a quick look at it. Yeah, right. Should have probably known. Anyways, we're going to swap that beer out. Uh, wait right there, I'll be back. Get another beer. Hut, hut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're on, we're on, all right. We got the, uh, what's this one? Ooh, we got some Colossal Mind Harvest, Colossal Brewing, Mind Harvest, East Coast India Pale Ale. Let's give it a go. Let's give it, give it a go. Put the, put the stubby hold of the right way around. Ooh, ooh, caterpillar. <laughs> Righto, so, let's go, let's give it a go. Oh, that's much better. Cheers, legends. Right, eh? That's that's a lot better. Oh yeah. Try to wash the other one down. It was real bad. So next part of this install is putting the air tank in, right? So this is the ARB four liter air tank. The new design with your bloody your fittings at the bottom top, wherever you want to have them. Now the beauty about this is you want to mount this so your fittings are at the bottom. Two reasons: easy to run fittings out, but you can put an air drain on there, and this fills up with water. I mean, when it fills up with water, we just pull it, psh, all, the, all the water comes out, right? So you have water slopping around forever. This is a beautiful thing about this new design of theirs. <clears throat> so, bracket. So then, the next part is we've got those two. We don't want these two, we want these two. So we drop it in with the fittings pointing up that direction. And then we're going to grab, as you see here, we've got our bolts lined out. Get away, mozzie. We've got our four bolts, four bolts. So these are to mount the bracket in, these are to mount the tank to the bracket. So I'm a bit lazy here. So I've got a bit of Caterpillar power. We're just going to get it. What I should have done is actually get the thing first. I was trying to save myself some time, but rookie mistake. We're gonna be this one. Get out of that one. A bad boy. Put that in. Get this thing started. Get him running. God damn it. This is gonna, that's one bolt. That's one bolt. We'll start this end. Margaret. So you get this thing bolted up. So we want to line them all up, probably do a diagonal corner opposite first. There we go, got it started in the end, we got there. Do this one up. This one, the thread was a bit sticky, so I'll just run it in now, one minute. The one I dropped before. There he is. How good is it having a toolbox on wheels? Just wheel it around when you drop. Righto, so we're on, we got all four in, as we know. Damn it, that's not gonna work. I don't have an Allen key driver for that, so I thought I'd try the square one. Doesn't work, so I'll do it by hand. I will just fast forward it. Ready, I'll do it for him. Done. <laughs> Get it. Oh, sorry. Tank's bolted in. Ding! It's now going to bolt. Remember this radius cutout? Let's double check what I said. Yep. So this radius cutout here, that goes to the front of the car, right? Put these in our pocket. 
them in there with our thongs. Far out. He's already dropped the bolt, he's only had a mouthful of that beer. And then we come in here, we pretend that, we're going to pretend that there's a bumper in the way here and there's a bit of plastic there, right? It's a bit harder and there's an exhaust that comes out here. So we just go up over the exhaust, unless you want to pull the exhaust out, which is not that hard on these. Then we just hold it up. And if you really want to, you can pull the bumper and everything off to get into this. Beautiful. Get this last one in. And we're going to get in here, get a bit of rattle action. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh oh. We had a slight problem. We had a minor issue. The socket fell off. Too much ducker ducker power from the old caterpillar. Look at these things. <laughs> Woo, radio. Look at that. Red hot. Red hot. Look how solid that thing is. So, from there, obviously, there's one more thing we got to. <laughs> oh, we're into it, the Savo. So, again, I've only had two mouthfuls. One of that, one on one of this one. Don't forget, quick moment, we have a drink. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for all the support, legends. We've got one more bit to that. We've got this the air filters, and then the next stage to that, once you've got that, is if you're gonna plumb this up into your tub, instead of punching holes in the side of your tub, buy one of our tub switch, what is it? Tub switch panel. Buy that, goes in the back where your factory cigarette socket thing is. Bin that, bolt ours in, you've got Andersons, you've got three switches, so one for your compressor, you've got a compressor outlet, your dual USB, cigarette socket again, it's got everything you need, and it's perfect. Not bad. And it's perfect, it's everything you need. And all this ties in. So this part here, I'm going to go down the forklift. Just give me a minute. I'm going to go down the old, old berthy. So, I don't have the headlight to show you how to pull it out. But it's very, very easy. So, the headlight goes... Did I say headlight? Twice. Twice now I've said headlight, but what I mean is I mean tail light. <laughs> wow, he's on fire, the survey. So basically, you want to pop this tail light. If you've got tub liner, spray on whatever, you're going to find, I'm confident it is, one, two. That one there and that one there. All you do is you simply unscrew them, unscrew them, pull those out. I think I could be wrong there too. Anyways, there's two screws, you'll see them. Righto legends, righto, let's, let's start that again. So, I went and got a headlight from down the back of one of the other tubs. I've put it in. Tail light. For sake. I've gone down the back, I've grabbed a tail light from one of the other tubs we've got down there. Just so I can show you exactly how it goes, so we don't get it confused. So, I didn't bring the nut, the screws, but. So this tail light, you'll see right there, and right there. If you've got a tub liner in it, maybe. No, the tub liner's finished there, so you'll see it. One bolt there, one bolt there, or screw. You undo them, and then you just, Grab it and put your fingers in the side here. You'll see Al will come around here and give you a little peek. You'll see there, you can get your finger in the side here. Put your finger in there and then you just gotta pull forward. And you'll see those there latch over these and just pulls forward and comes out. Don't, don't bloody do these ones and rip on it one hand and that way and pull it this way. You'll start breaking stuff. Just two hands, two hands and just pull straight out. Problem solved, right? We're not breaking nothing. So I'll throw that in there. So this is the part where I need to find a nut. Oh, look at my mess in here, here we go. What do we got? Nut. Ooh, we got a whole bag of nuts, so I can continually drop them today. So what we're doing with this one, it's very easy when I find my thing. There it is. So inside here, I'll get able to come around. You'll see there's a hole there. See how my finger's coming out here? Can you see that, Al? Oh. Can you see my finger between the gap there? OK. 
Can you see? Oh, you can see my finger. Yep, cool. So when my finger's coming out, that's where this bolt's gonna come out. Alrighty, right, guys. You gotta have a quick smoke back. Mmm. All right. So bolt, oversized washer. So as we go through on the angle to that hull, we're gonna have another finger up there to catch it. So you put a bit of pressure on it to try and guide it in to make sure it's gonna go, right? So, sort of back in. All right, nailed it. I fluked that, I fluked that first go. Well, I'm pretty happy on that one. So then you're gonna come in through the bottom here. Ah, uh, balls itchy. Come in through the bottom. And we wanna whoop, hook that one up there so I can move up to here to grab it. Gets a bit awkward this bit, but not too bad. Then you wanna try and eyeball it. And then try and start the nut set. I think I've lined him up. So now, yeah, I'm just trying to get this. Not set to start. <laughs> He's done it. I said this was going to be too hard. I take it back. He's going to be in a good mood to do it. So, as you can see now, we've got both our air filters up there. And you want to grab yourself a 13 mil spanner, which I've got in here. And we're just going to get in here and go. Righty tidy, lefty loosey legends, do not forget it. Done. What we need to remember, legends, is that these two filters are up here because when you do what I did to the Ranger, everyone's seen that by now. When you do what I did to the Ranger and you sink it in water, it's very rare because when these are on the car, like my car, it was like here somewhere, right? That means the air filters are up here. It's going to be in pretty deep water. If you're in water this deep, you're probably in more trouble than you need to be. So this means you're going to protect your air compressor. As long as everything's sealed up, you're not going to get water in the air compressor. None of those problems. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Now, the next thing we can show you is, this is what I was saying with our tub switch panel, right? ARB, air, air, or, or TJM, doesn't matter. Air compressor outlet, dual USB, cigarette socket, two Andersons and three carling switches. Absolutely magic. And then around this side here, if L swoops around, <clears throat> you'll see that this, the old one comes out, four simple bolts. We've got a video on the install of this. That one just drops in there. And then all we do is we put the four bolts back in, right? Nice and simple, nice and tidy, easy job. So then of course, these are the switches now. They're all packed up. So this is how they come. We pack them up like this. So when you're wiring, you can put them all in, you see, that one's a dual USB, that's a Siggy lighter. Three curling switches and two Andersons, nice and simple. Right, legends, we're done here, that's a wrap today. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, make sure you like, subscribe and comment. It makes a huge difference. If you like the products that we're doing in this today, in the description below is gonna be a link to the website. Jump on, grab it all. If not, we've got merch there as well. Jump on, any support matters. Thank you, legends. Now, of course, we'll see you next week for another front hour install. Cheers, legends. Yo.